today's video is gonna be my New Year's Eve makeup and I am so excited because I loved my New Year's Eve makeup last year but I'm gonna be doing it even better this year I've got some different ideas I think I'm gonna be writing 2019 something like that I feel like it's been forever since I've done a full on glam makeup look here on my channel and I'm also just gonna be chatting with you guys talking to you guys about what's been happening I mean my December has been so crazy, so busy, and I'm gonna be telling you much more about it. Definitely stay tuned and let's begin. First up, I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier foundation primer. This one is the Radiance version because I want some glow. And this one is one of my favorites, like when it comes to getting the glow on my skin. Um, I just, oh, can you see the glow? I see it. My December and November actually has been so freaking busy because there's been so many Things that I've had to do like with business and also I'm doing a TV show that's almost over now. It's gonna launch or go live in 2019 in the beginning and I'm so excited about that. I'm gonna be mixing two foundations, the Delilah Time Frame Futurist Foundation and also my Bobbi Brown Longwear Even Finish Foundation. But as I said with the TV show, it's been freaking amazing. It is all about... Um, the beauty boss life in Denmark. You've never really seen those kind of TV shows before. Last year, or no, wait, this year. I'm not sure. I'm totally confused with the years now because we're almost moving into 2019. Bye. Last year or this year, I'm not sure. I did a um, TV show or actually it was kind of like a web web series. It was called Influencers and it was all about the life of an influencer in Denmark. And they actually asked me to do a season two and I had four different TV shows to choose between. I really contemplated on whether or not to do a second season of the influencer show because I really enjoyed doing it and the people behind it, they were so kind and so sweet and I also had a bit more say in what would be shown and how I would be portrayed. I'm always used to editing myself. I think all influencers and people who do the YouTube and so on, they know that the thing with editing yourself is so much nicer because you get to decide exactly how you want to portray yourself. Um, but when other people are editing you, you don't really know what comes out and, and what happens. So it is a bit more like, yeah, scary. <laughs> For concealer, I'm using the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Custard. I always use this one and I'm also going to be using it as an eyeshadow primer. But the thing with not having the chance to edit yourself is really scary in some ways, I feel. I think I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty The Overachieve Concealer in the color Sugar Biscuit underneath my eyes as well because I feel like that it's a bit too pale right now. Just a teeny tiny bit. This one dries in so quickly so you really have to work fast. At least that's my experience with this one, but it's really good. It's really good and really high coverage. I love that. Gonna be baking with the Makeup Revolution Lays Luxury Baking Powder. I've actually really come to love this one and um, I never thought that it was gonna be amazing. But it is. But at the end of the day, I ended up not doing a second season of the Influencer TV show. Biggest reason why people have been like, why are you not doing a second season? It was so good the first one. I, I'm just like, I needed something new. I, I feel like that what I wanted to say with that TV show has already been said. It would kind of be like the same if you get what I mean and it wouldn't feel as if that I was evolving and growing and, and trying something new and because I had so many different TV shows to choose between I actually also had the possibility of actually finding out and figuring out in my head which TV show is gonna make me grow and evolve both as a human being but also with my business. Yeah, that business. <laughs> no, not really. I just always feel like that I have to do stuff that actually makes sense to me and my my career and and just my, my personality as well. I'm doing my brows with the Bobbi Brown Longwear Brow Gel in the color Saddle. <coughs> Saddle? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's kind of like a brow pomade. Just a bit drier and a bit easier to work with. Does that make sense? But it's really good. But I think all people in this world, we need to do stuff that makes us grow as human beings, with our business, and just with our lives in general. And I just felt like that there was another TV show which spoke more to me and where I was at in my life right now. Whoa, this is crazy. Look at that. To me, it was like there was another TV show that made me feel much more like this is gonna be more grown up if you get what I mean a bit more like me where I'm at right now in my life with my um with my career and so on 
And that TV show is called Beauty Boss. So no. It's Danish, um, but it's called Beauty Bosses if we translate it, of course. A short um, description is just that it's gonna be about the beauty industry in Denmark as beauty influencers. It's really interesting, actually. Um, a bit more drama. A bit more drama, definitely. I don't feel like that I'm an actual drama queen. Or maybe I am, but I don't really feel like it. Um, but there's definitely a bit more drama than what I'm used to. I mean, it is TV. When you see other TV shows about businesses and so on, there will always be a bit more drama because there's competition. But I'm just not used to it. So it was definitely something new for me. And I've just felt so vulnerable and so like touchy-feely with my feelings, but it's also made me grow so much as a human being. And right now I'm just so excited to actually see the finished result. We shot the last scene, um, was it on the 22nd, 21st, something like that of December. We've been filming since I think the beginning of October and it's been very go 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 i think that's also why i haven't been doing that many videos here on youtube and i'm sorry about that i will get back to it don't worry but it's just been like it's been taking so much energy and so much time and and just scheduling like everything as well has just been a crazy nightmare and i hate scheduling but the weird thing now is that now that the tv show is kind of like over and we just need to actually see the tv show i i kind of miss it i kind of miss being on that bus all the time. Whenever I'm able to tell you much more about when it's gonna be launching, you like the right date and so on, I'm gonna tell you much more, but for now, I don't really know. I The only thing I know is that it's gonna be in 2019. I also feel like that after having done this TV show, I just feel like that I wanna do so much more TV, um, like TV shows or whatever kind of TV I, I can get to do. I just, it feels so natural to me and it feels so right for me. It feels like that that's what I'm really good at. So I really want to do some more TV. I know it sounds crazy because I've always just been a YouTuber, but I really feel like that, that is the path that I should pursue as well. I mean, I will never stop doing YouTube, at least I don't think so. I love doing this, um, but I feel like that it would be a good step, like, a nice next step for my career. I've got these new Huda Beauty Matte Metal Melted Shadows, which is a dual-ended shadow, as you can see, where you've got a matte and a metal. Um, and I'm not sure which color to use. I'm in between these two, actually. Oh, I'm not sure. I think I want glitter. So I'm gonna be using the matte side over here. This one is called Faux Fur. Oh wow, very beigey. <laughs> Maybe that's a good primer, actually. But nice texture, though. I'm gonna be doing some crease work with the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette and I'm gonna be using this one down here. We could have done a cut crease, but I don't really feel like it. I feel like it's so overdone. I've done my fair share and now I just feel like I want it to be blended and beautiful. Is that too much to ask? And when talking about my life, my life has been all over the place, not just because of the TV show, we've talked about that, but also just my life in general, there's just been so many things going on both personally, work-wise, I've changed management, yes I have. I'm actually really really happy about that. I, I went through a phase in 2018 where I was actually feeling really down, really low, things weren't really going my way and things were just going way too slow for me as well. And now that I've changed management, I just feel like that there's so much more happening in my life. I can't really say too much unfortunately right now because it's all gonna launch and, and get out in 2019 but i can tell you guys there's gonna be so many amazing things coming up i really love my new management and where i'm at right now with them because things are happening and that is just so exciting i think sometimes you just need a change of scene a change of people in your life if you feel like that the people around you or just your environment or whatever is kind of like dragging you down and holding you back from being the best version of yourself that is when you need to take back control and actually kind of break away from it, if you got what I mean. And this is no shade, this is no hate. I'm just being very, very honest with where I've been and what, what's what been like happening in my mind. I really felt like that I needed to do something different and that's what I've done and it feels amazing. I'm gonna be using the new Smashbox Cover Shot Bold Glitter Eye Palette and I think that I'm gonna be just applying some of the glitters on my eyelids. I think I'm gonna be using that one up there. And to make the glitter stick down, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. I really like 
this just the right amount of glitter and sass and pedazz and everything that I love. I'm gonna be doing a dedicated video about this of course, but I also just quickly want to touch base on 2018. As I said, a dedicated video will be up, I think, where I'm going to be talking about each individual month and tell you what happened and how I felt, all of that jazz. It has seriously been a year where I just feel like that I've grown so much as a human being and I've just found myself in a totally different way than what I expected from the beginning of 2018. My saying about 2018 was that it was going to be my year, that it was going to be so crazy good and busy and I was just gonna have the time of my life and let me be honest it has been a really crazy good year in some ways but it's also been extremely stressful I don't know if you remember in the beginning of the year I had to move I had to find another apartment which was like the most crazy stressful period ever but now looking back at it because I of course found a new apartment and things started to work out as well um, I must say that it really made me grow as a human being once again because I learned how to deal with really stressful times in my life where I just needed to take control and really just do something about it. Now I think I'm gonna be writing 2019 right here um, and I'm gonna be doing it with the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadow in the shade Bamboo Hoops. And if I'm quiet now, you know why I need to focus. Can you believe that it's actually 2019 soon? I can't. I mean, I'm just like, what happened? I actually also kind of hope that 2018 was gonna be the year where I found the love of my life. Once again, I can tell you guys, I did not. Gonna be the forever single girl who buys 10 cats, 10 dogs, and I'm just gonna live in my own little apartment with loads of makeup and loads of cats and dogs and just having the time of my life. I feel like that the dudes that I have been seeing this year has actually made me grow a hell of a lot. It's, it's good now, but it was very damaging, let me tell you. I've learned a lot. <laughs> there is this saying going, rejections make reflections. And I've reflected a lot. Oh, can you see that? I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, but it says 2019, it looks really pretty. Maybe I should apply some glitter on it to make it really stand out, even though I feel like my handwriting sucks. Uh, I was never the one with a pretty handwriting, never. I'm gonna be applying the loose glitter from Anastasia. This one is called Star Power. Power? Yeah, power. <laughs> These are just so freaking gorgeous. Can you tell? Oh. Love it. And I'm using the glitter adhesive to make it stick down. This is also from Anastasia. Okay, I think it's enough with the glitter right now. I'm not sure if you can see it because of the light, but it looks really cute. And I think maybe I'm just gonna be doing a glitter thing over here as well. Just cause why not? Now that we're out with the glitter, let's apply some glitter. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Duff Lashes So Kylie. These are some of my favorites. They're really full on, really glam. And Shut up! And that's what I want. Cause I'm already someone else's. Am I the only one who's crazy in love with the new Marina and the Diamonds song? It's kind of like my life right now. I listen to it all the time. I haven't even talked about Christmas yet. Okay, so Christmas was really chill. I just totally took out some days to just chill, be with my family and try to heal myself after having been so freaking busy. I spent my entire um, Christmas just being with my loved ones and my family and yeah, just trying to relax, which has been so incredibly much needed. Incredibly much needed. It has been needed. Just using my NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner, just if there's any things that I need to touch up with the lashes, but as you can see, the lashes, they do a lot. And I guess that's also why I hate the next thing that I have to say. I have not felt the Christmas spirit this year. <laughs> it is so sad, guys. I love Christmas. I'm a Christmas person. I, I feel like Christmas is my prime time. Time has just flown by, and before I knew it, it was like almost Christmas Eve and I was just like what just happened I had one day together with my mom where we went Christmas shopping and that was kind of it I think I just did a mini wing liner and you should never do that when you've applied lashes I don't know why I did it Stupid. just realized I forgot to set my brows I'm using the benefit gimme brow in the shade number three 
which I have fallen head over heels in love with once again. So now that Christmas is over, it's just like, I'm kind of sad that it's over because I haven't even felt like it's been Christmas for real for me this year, but on the other hand, I just want 2018 to end ASAP. I'm just, I'm so over 2018. I'm gonna be mixing these two highlighters, the Anastasia and Reese one, and then also the Becca Champagne Pop. Just gonna be... Applying this one firstly, applying it on the highest point of my cheek, a bit on my nose, here, here. And then I'm using the Ambrisi just on top because it gives that extra pop that I want because it's very goldy. And I'm gonna be contouring today with the Contour Kid Medium to Tan from Anastasia. This one up here, which I found out is just the perfect contour color for me right now. Also contouring my nose with it, even though it is a bit big for that. And then I'm gonna be bronzing with my new love, the Marc Jacobs, what are you called? Tantastic Omega Bronze, which is so incredibly beautiful. It is very warm tone, which is what I really truly love about it. It's not too much, and it just gives that extra mm, to your look. I'm gonna be using the Mega Forever Brow Liner in the color 20, and I'm gonna be drawing up my beauty marks around my face. I'm gonna highlight my ears. I love highlighting my ears. Especially when I'm wearing my hair up in a ponytail or bun or something like that. It just makes the ears stand out. For my lips, I'm going to be using Delighted Lip Liner in the color... Secret? Which is not really a secret, but it's amazing. Such a great nude. And as you can see, I'm not touching too harshly with this one. I just kind of like tight lining, if you can say that. Such a pretty color in itself and you can totally just keep it like this, keep it matte. But I want a bit more glitter and a bit more gloss. I'm gonna be applying the Fenty Beauty new what it, gloss balm. This is called Fussy. This is so pretty, a really pretty nudie pink. There you go. So guys, this is my New Year's Eve makeup look. It is definitely very glam but not too out there. You can totally wear this for your New Year's Eve party or whatever and you it won't be too much so i really hope that you enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me for new year's eve i can't wait for new year's eve and of course i hope that you all had an amazing christmas eve and that you're gonna have an amazing new year's eve as well please take care of each other be really really careful with all of the fireworks remember to like the video if you enjoyed this makeup look and please tell me if you're gonna be recreating it as well tag me on instagram my instagram is right here so if you do this makeup show me i want to see it and um, I guess that's all for this video. Thank you so very much for watching and stay tuned for 2019, which is going to be so incredibly amazing. And remember, I love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else. Mwah.